Hello everyone, hope you're having the most wonderful day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to discuss some of the voice winners and reveal how they're doing now. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content guys. Javier Colon Appearing in the very first season of the show, contestant Javier wowed the judges with his talent and fought his way to the top. Working under coach Adam Levine, Cologne won the inaugural season of The Voice and was given a hefty $100,000 alongside a contract with Universal Music Group. You'd expect such an amazing prize to change someone's life for the better, but that's not always entirely true. In a lot of cases, tons of frustrations arise when having to work with a new company, which often results in contestants having to cut ties with their label. Cologne was one of these artists who decided to part ways with Universal and join up with Concord Music. During an interview back in 2014, the talented singer slash songwriter detailed why he decided to part ways with the company. He expressed that when you pour your heart and soul into a new album and your label is supposed to support, market, and promote your music but does neither, it's really hard not to be upset. Interestingly enough, this wasn't Cologne's first time leaving a record deal that wasn't satisfying him. Prior to competing on the show, he was tied to a company named Capitol Records who wanted to market him as an R&B star. Rather than play along with it and potentially make himself miserable, he denied the request and they decided to drop him. Regardless of the issues that this man had to face, he's currently signed to a label that lets him make the music he wants. Back in 2016, he released an album through Concord called Gravity, which Cologne seemed to be really passionate about. Describing it as music that he's proud of and loves from start to finish, this is a feeling that he expressed he's willing to fight for. Even though he hasn't made an original song since 2017, he still does perform pretty regularly, well, online that is. You can check out his Facebook page where he started a quarantine concert series where he shows off his fantastic voice. Additionally, he posts on his YouTube channel where he mostly does covers of popular songs, but he hasn't posted in over two months. Looking towards the future, Cologne expressed in an interview with Playbill that he would love to perform on Broadway. It's very clear that he's ready to make it onto the main stage singing songs like Waving Through a Window from Dear Evan Hansen with Ease. We're excited to see what the future holds for this amazing singer. Jermaine Paul Appearing in the second season of the hit show, Jermaine Paul fulfilled his childhood dream of becoming a singer by climbing up the ranks in the competition. After having witnessed the success of the first season of The Voice, Paul thought he'd give it a shot. Performing his rendition of the popular song Complicated by Avril Lavigne, he managed to get two judges to turn around being CeeLo Green and Blake Shelton. Choosing to be on Shelton's team, this was the decision that ultimately led to victory over the more popular contestant Juliette Sims. Becoming Coach Blake's first win on the show, he went on to rack another six in the subsequent seasons. Anyway, thanks to his final performance of the now-disgraced R. Kelly song, I Believe I Can Fly, he captured the Globe's attention. Exactly like the previous winner, he won $100,000 in a deal with Universal, but in this case, he actually stayed. Following his appearance on the show, his cover of the same song managed to rank number 83 on the US Billboard's Hot 100. Unfortunately, this remains as one of his only major successes since he left The Voice, which is quite disappointing. Bruh. As an example, when Paul chose to cover the 1967 Isaac Hayes and David Porter song Soul Man that he sang alongside Shelton, it didn't even make it into the top 100. To be fair, it did rank number 108, but it definitely underperformed, especially considering that a famous country singer was featured in it. Sadly, due to the fact that Paul was an R&B artist, it made it difficult to collaborate with his coach. Ironically, an opponent he won against, Ray Lynn, who's a country singer herself, worked more closely with Shelton than he ever did. He did release a single after his run in the competition called I Believe in This Life, which also didn't perform that great. Additionally, he announced that he was going to drop an album called Make Love Save the World back in 2015, but he never followed through. In recent times, it seems like Paul is prioritizing his family. Being 41 now, he's married to his lovely wife Melissa, who he met in high school over two decades ago. They have four children, so we can imagine how busy he must be. It's nice to see that he at least has a happy family. Cassidy Pope Moving on to the third season of The Voice, viewers were blessed with a talent named Cassidy Pope, who was the only female finalist of her season. During her audition, she was able to impress more than one of the judges thanks to her beautiful singing, earning her a spot on the show. As she advanced through the ranks with her performances, it became increasingly clear that she was going to win. And that she did in December of 2012, becoming the third official winner of the competition, but the first female contestant to win. Consequently, she secured a contract with a country music label called Republic Nashville Records. Following her run in the competition, her career was met with a decent amount of success, at least more than the previous contestant. For one, back in 2013, she released her major label debut called Frame by Frame, which mostly consisted of pop and rock country tunes. It was her very first full-length album, which came with 11 songs such as Proved You Wrong, Good Times, One Song, and more. 
doing considerably better than the winners we mentioned earlier. Her album ranked number 9 on the Billboard Top 200, selling over 43,000 copies in the first week. Additionally, it peaked at number 1 on the Top Country Albums chart, which is absolutely fantastic. Pope also put out two singles called I Wish I Could Break Your Heart and Wasting All These Tears, which went platinum. A few years later, she made an EP called Summer, which featured four songs having 13 minutes worth of country slash pop music. This time around, she wasn't met with the same amount of success, only really managing to hit number 164 on the Billboard 200 and number 14 on the Country Albums chart. At around the same time, she did receive a big break collabing with a fellow country singer named Chris Young on a song called Think of You. Becoming an absolute hit, it reached number 2 on the Hot Country Songs chart and got Pope a Grammy Award nomination for Best Country Duo slash Group Performance. She still seems to actively create original music, with her most recent song being released close to a week ago. We wouldn't expect anything less, but every song that she puts out is absolutely fire. It's just a shame that she doesn't get that many views. If you're interested in keeping tabs on how this voice alumni is doing, check out her Instagram. Danielle Bradbury Successfully advancing through the auditions, Danielle Bradbury became one of the many to compete in the fourth season of the competition. Using Taylor Swift's hit song Mean to demonstrate her voice, she managed to get three of the four judges to turn around. In the end, she chose Blake Shelton as her coach, which would prove to be the right decision over the subsequent weeks. Battling her way to the very top, the aspiring vocalist found herself on the stage as one of the finalists during the live finale. Soon after, Bradbury was expectedly announced to be the fourth official winner of The Voice in June of 2013. On top of being the youngest person at the time to ever win the competition, she also secured a deal with Big Machine Records. Not even a month later, she released a debut single called The Heart of Dixie, which was a commercial success. Selling over 375,000 copies in the United States, it's clear that Shelton wasn't wrong when he dubbed her as the next big thing. Later in November of that year, she released a debut album called Danielle Bradbury, which was met with overwhelmingly positive reviews. Over the years, she added even more successful songs under her belt with ones like Young in America and Friend Zone, which made it onto the top 50 of the country song charts. Additionally, she's gotten the chance to collaborate with a big country artist named Thomas Rhett in their song Playing With Fire. Assuming you're interested in watching this talented woman sing live, you're certainly in luck since she's currently on tour. Very recently, she put out a song called Never Have I Ever, which reached number 9 on the Apple Music charts. It's actually a really nice song, so you should consider checking it out. Tessany Chin As a quick little entry, we're going to discuss a contestant named Tessany Chin who appeared in the 5th season of the show. For her debut in front of the judges, she sang Pink's song Try, managing to get all of them to turn around. Ultimately, she went with Adam Levine as her coach, who would eventually lead her to becoming the fifth official winner. Getting signed with Universal Records, she released her second studio album called Count On My Love in 2014. Impressively so, it entered the US Billboard's Top 200 and got 41st place, and reached number 20 on the Top Digital Albums chart. Despite this, the album only really sold 7,000 copies in its first week, making Chin the lowest ranking winner in terms of first week sales. Nowadays, her focus has seemed to shift more onto raising her lovely family, but she still performs at small events on the side. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one, guys.